What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some brand new WWE Elite figure images live from the Wrestling Shop Live event in London right now. These pictures that we got here today, guys, come from my boy the NWF on Instagram. If you guys have an Instagram account, definitely go follow him. It's at the NWF. He's an absolute beast customizer and very talented individual, and he hooked me up with these pictures. He's actually there at the event and um, I want to give all credits to him, but let's go ahead and dive right into these images, guys. As you can see here on the screen, look at this. This is supposedly the Elite 66 Kevin Owens, the KO show here in the Yep, Yep, Yep shirt. Obviously going to go along with our Elite 63 Sami Zayn shirt in the Yep, Yep, Yep movement. I am loving this Kevin Owens head scan. I think it's a lot better than his Elite 61 figure. And I believe this is the attire from Survivor Series that he wore. You know, it's like the uh, blue KO on his shorts. And then it says fight anyone on his shirt. Um, it says fight in blue. And then underneath it's white anyone with like the black lettering. Um, very nice attire. I am a huge Kevin Owens fan, so I can't wait to grab this. I already have the attire in my collection. However, I'm still going to grab it. I love this head scan to death, like I said. And uh, maybe we'll get some more accessories with this guy. But what a great looking Kevin Owens figure. Moving on guys, here you can see we have a Walgreens exclusive page. We're going to continue the theme of the women's figures being Wal Walgreens exclusives. And this page figure looks great. I think this is probably her best figure to date. I really like the head scan. Uh, the lipstick looks great. And um, just a lot of good stuff going on with this page figure. I'm not a huge collector of the women's figures. However, this is a nice looking page figure. Next up we do have the Entrance Grace Elias figure guys out of the packaging. This I think this is our first loose images um, seeing of this figure out of the packaging, you can see we're getting his stool. The white pants look great, and it's pretty much just a repaint of the Elite 60 Elias. However, it's a great figure. I am excited for it, and of course, we're going to get his stand, and this is the last ever Entrance Greats figure. They're going to discontinue the series again after this one, so Entrance Greats Elias is looking absolutely fresh. Moving forward, we do have the Elite 64 Target Exclusive Pete Dunn figure, and this looks like an early contender contender for figure of the year guys I mean look at this thing it's absolutely perfect um, I think the only thing they could have done is given us a legit fur vest and that I, that's asking too much I think this is going to be a great accessory regardless beautiful head scan you can see the the smug look on Pete Dunn's face as he always has um, that mouth guard in the mouth there looks amazing the tattoos are perfect I literally think this is a perfect figure from head to toe um, they just nailed everything about it I, I can't wait to grab this and I can't wait for Elite 64 to hit retail as soon as they do guys Going to targets, uh, I'm going to be checking target every single day, so I'm going to have to grab a million of these um, when they come out. You know, make some fantasy attires, make some different looks of Pete Dunn here, but this figure looks great, and we've already seen images of it, but just seeing it here in the flesh just, just looks incredible. Next up, we do have Elite 65 Rusev Day right here, baby, looking, looking amazing. Look at this t-shirt. He comes with that key right there. Uh, this is from a specific episode of SmackDown Live. Can't remember which exactly, but Rusev looking good. I'm not a big fan of this head scan. I do like the body though. I'll probably pop my BEW Rusev custom head scan onto this body. I just, I don't know what it is. They can't give us a great Rusev head scan, um, no matter how hard they try. So, I guess I'm going to have to uh, still be looking out for a Mattel really good Rusev head scan. So that that's a sort of a disappointment, but uh, nice looking body for Rusev here. Up next, we do have the Elite 65 Eric Young figure, which we have also seen multiple times. This is obviously Sanity, and I can't wait to see the rest of them. We do have images of Killian and Dane later on, but I'm ready to see Nikki Cross and Alexander Wolf in the flesh um, to go along with our Eric Young and Sanity figures. Next up, we do have a look at the prototype of the Velveteen Dream. We have obviously seen this. We saw this a few weeks ago at the Ringside Fest in Times Square, New York, I do believe. And it's still looking good, just as good as ever. You know, they still don't have any final images of it yet. It's not finally produced. So the paint detail and all that good jazz is not completely in there. You can see Randy Orton in the back, the Elite 67 Randy Orton, to go along with the Elite 67 Velveteen Dream here. So what, what beautiful figures we're seeing, guys. As soon as these figures are completed and the final production is complete, I can't wait to see what the details of these two figures look like. Um, moving on, we do have Bob Backlund right here, guys, as you can see behind the Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura. Great looking figure. Very excited for this one as well. I think it's a damn near perfect figure again. Great looking robe on this guy. It's not the same robe as the Elite 29 Damian Sandow. It actually is a bit different. He comes with the championship, and I think it's a really, really good figure. I think you could make, you know, Darren Young's little sidekick Bob Backlund if you want. Pop that head scan on there. Get a little custom game going. Um, next up, guys, we do have another image here, and it is 
of the Elite 65 Aiden English, as you can see there in the background. Not a very good image, but um, it is still there. You can see a little bit off to the side behind Eric Young. And uh, I can't wait to see that up next to my custom that I have in my collection. Uh, another image we have here is Roderick Strong, and this figure I'm so excited for. I love Roderick Strong to death. I'm probably going to have to update the torso, though, because this torso is going to be too small, but it is cool that we're getting a great-looking head scan. Um, it's sort of a bummer that, you know, his basic got canceled, but they're going to replace it here with this Elite, and we get this great cloth jacket, and you can see Drew McIntyre and Hideo Itami um, in the background there looking amazing as well. So this is going to be a really good NXT set. I think there's five in the set total, so this is going to be a really good Target exclusive set. I believe the Target exclusive NXT set is still a thing, but I don't think they're going to come out till January which brings me to the last figure images I believe I have for you guys right here. And you can see we have Aleister Black, we have Ruby Riot, we have Adeo Itami, and uh, we have Drew McIntyre, as I said. And these, this is just an amazing line. I love every figure in this line. Great accessories all throughout. I know Aleister Black is one of the top most wanted figures, and I think it's going to be an easy figure of the year contender because everybody's been waiting on Aleister Black's figure to release. So when this thing hits the shelves, it's going to fly all over the place. I bet people are going to pay high dollar, myself included, to get this figure. I'd probably pay 100 bucks to get this Aleister Black, no lie. Um, you know, for the pick fed and just having an Alistair Black to pose around and play with is, is going to be really, really fun um, to just black mask the piss out of all my figures. But uh, I believe that's all the images that I have for you guys here today. Um, thank you so very much for watching. If I get any more images, guys, obviously I will po be posting them up to you guys so you guys will be on the 411 and get all the news on the latest Mattel WWE figures and giving you my thoughts on them. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.